Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I really wanted to do a look using a bold lip. So I decided on this red lip and I just did a simple golden eye look to go with it. If you guys want to see how I created this entire look, please keep watching. Alright, so to start off this look today, I'm going to be going in using my Laura Mercier Foundation Primer. Alright, so for foundation, today I'm going to be going in with Frankie Rose's Matte Perfection Foundation in the shade Oatmeal Blend. Get it on your face, however you like. Then I'm just going to blend this in. I always spend the most time blending in my foundation because your base is the most important. If your base doesn't look good, then nothing else is it's just going to be too obvious and then you won't even notice anything else because your base is looking bad. So anyway, next I'm going to be going in and contouring and highlighting my face and I'm going to be using Smashbox's Studio Skin Flawless 24 Hour Concealer. And to contour, I'm going to be using Medium Dark Warm Olive and to highlight, I'll be using Light Medium Warm Olive. Blending this out with my Huda Beauty Face Sculpt and Shade Brush. I'm going to be using the big end. Using the small end to blend out my nose. And then my concealer. And I'm going to blend that out with my Beauty Blender. To set my concealer, I'm going to be using Smashbox's Photo Finish Brush Setting Powder in the shade 01. It just looks like this, and you twist it to get it out. Setting my chin, cupid's bow, nose. I'm gonna use a bigger brush to set my entire face. This is just a big, huge Morphe brush. This is the RO brush. Some of that powder. Now to bronze up my face, I'm gonna be using Bare Minerals Bare Pro Contour Palette. This is the tan to dark palette. And I'm gonna be going in with this metal shade right here. I'm going to take this on my Morphe S94 brush, it's just this flat, dense brush, and just warm my hollows up a little bit more in forehead. And then to contour my nose, I'm going to go in with that same shade using my Anastasia Beverly Hills A13 smudger brush. I'm just going to take this and run it up and down the sides of the bridge. And then cleaning that off, I'm gonna go in with this super light shade. And I'm just gonna pop that right on the tip of my nose, the bridge. And then going down the sides. And then taking that darker brown again and just carving out your nostril creases. And then letting that sit for like 30 seconds, I'm gonna go in with that brush I used to set my under eyes and just brush that all away. And then before I do my eyes, I'm just gonna go in with blush and I'm gonna be using Laura Mercier's Blush Color Infusion in Chai. 
and I'm going to take this on my Anastasia Beverly Hills A19 brush. Now quickly for my brows, I'm just going to brush them out, brush out any powder that's in there. And now going in with our eyeshadow, I'm going to be using Urban Decay's new Naked Honey Palette. First, I'm just going to prime my eyelids using Urban Decay's Eyeshadow Primer Potion. I've never actually used this stuff, but I know that it's been highly recommended, so I'm just going to plop that on the lid. Then I'm going to set my lid using Swarm. I'm just going to go in with a big fluffy brush, and this is my Morphe S27. It is my skin color, so it kind of works out. Next, I'm going to pick up some of this golden, and I'm just going to sweep that all over my lid. And I'm going to be taking this on my Morphe S21 brush. Then picking up some amber and doing the same thing, but just on the outer half of the lid. And then I'm going to be picking up Drip and just blending out my crease. I'm going to pick up a little bit of this on my Anastasia Beverly Hills A12 brush. My voice just died. A12. Going in and just making that a little bit more pigmented, blending them out. Now using my super thin Sigma Smudge E21 brush, I'm going to pick up a little bit of drip, that last brown, and just smudge that under my lash line here. And then going in with my Urban Decay Perversion Liner, I'm going to do a super thin wing. I hope I can get it super thin. We're going to try our best. Now to finish off this eye look, I'm just going to go in with some mascara, and this is Ciate's Wonder Wand Mascara. The trick for me to not get any mascara on my lid is to hold a mirror below and look into it from below. And then lastly, we're going to do some lips, and I'm actually going to do a nice bold lip today. So I'm just going to pop some lip balm on my lips. So I'm going to go in and line my lips using this pencil by MAC. This is from the Olaya collection called Follow Your Heart. It's a little bit too bright for the lip color that I chose today, but I'm just going to use it as a guide. So for my lip color, I'm going to go in with Huda Beauty's Matte Lipstick in Promotion Day. It's a darker red. Is it though? Now I'm going to make this lip glossy because why not? I'm kind of scared it's going to get all my lips, but let's try it. I'm going to go in with Buxom's Plumping Lip Cream in the shade Goa Gimlet. Go a gimlet. I don't know what that means, but let's do it. Now I'm going to just do some highlight because I failed on that account. For my highlight, I'm going to be going in with Laura Mercier's Face Illuminator in Addiction. Oh, get your tail out of here.
and this is the final look. I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video and supporting my channel. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. Also, don't forget to click that bell icon if you want to get notifications for when I post future videos. I really do hope you guys enjoy this look and want to recreate it. If you do, don't forget to take a picture and tag me at Chelsea's Makeup on Instagram. And hopefully, I'll see you guys in my next video.